Good morning guys, welcome back to another video here on the Gingery and Sons YouTube channel. So, this morning, we are trying to find a pen right now. At this moment, we're trying to find a pen to uh, write some fuel down for the Argosy. So, yeah, I said Argosy. So, the Argosy is the American version, but well, it's the, the most modern American cab over there is. So, they quit making them. Freightliner was the last ones to make the cab over. So we happen to have four of them. Uh, two or more parts trucks, and then two are trucks that we run over the road. And I am building two Argosies right now. One is our boat hauling truck, and the other one is going to be our heavy haul truck. So I'm taking the bed off the other Argosy and we're making it, we're putting a third axle under it. We're making it the heavy haul truck. It's gonna be pulling the heavy haul boat trailer. So um, it's gonna be coming out here, hopefully today or tomorrow. I've gotta to take your record down and get it. The ECM just went out on it. So we gotta go pick it up, but it's coming out here for, like I said, a third axle, getting the bed taken off of it, fifth wheel put on it, some stacks. Um, we're gonna do all kinds of stuff to it, get it ready to go on the road. I've got to go to Canada and pick up our new trailer at Waltron. But today, we are going to compare, the, we're going to compare the Argosy to the Scania. So you've seen that we just went down and looked at Bruce's Scania and went over it and kind of talked about it, what we thought about it, our thoughts and opinions. I didn't drive it, but I will. So next time I go down, I'm going to drive it and give a true honest comparison. I'd like to run them side by side and get a comparison. I'm sure I can get Bruce to do that. But for now, we're just gonna go over and I'm gonna give you guys my honest thoughts about my Argosy, which we run every day. And we're getting ready to take it on a load and we're gonna take you guys with us. So guys, this is actually Braxton's truck, my son's. Uh, but he lets me use it every once in a while. He lets dad drive it every once in a while. Yeah, you can put him a stack on it. So these things are powered by 6NZ cats. Both of the ones we run right now have 6NZs in them. This one here is a 13 speed 6NZ, all that good stuff. Come on, Holly. Holly, come on. Let's go. So right off the rip, you're gonna see these ain't as easy to get into as the Scania. This is not. Yeah, crawl up here, put your feet up here, climb up here like a man. Oh! It has got a heater in it. Got a heater in it. I, it's a good old truck here now. Rax got this thing fixed up. Scania is a little easier to get into. He's kind of here to tell you when it's time to retire, <laughs> when you can't climb up in it, it's time to go home. That's <laughs> time to quit. <laughs> So this truck does have a lot of room in it. It's a double bunk truck. It's got a big sleeper. For a cab over, this thing's got a lot of room. So here we go. You got suspension gauge, turbo, and parameter. So I tuned this thing, but I don't know exactly how it pulls. I've not drove it since. Drivers just tell me it runs good. Yeah, I know it's weird to be having cats, but it's the only way I could get it. <laughs> this thing turns on a dime. It will absolutely turn on a dime. So it's got the air actuated steering. Let's see? Yeah, now she's same Cadillac for its age. This is a 2001. Maybe it does run good. Sound like I had a boost leak, maybe. There's just letting the snow with the turbo's ready to go. It's 
it's slow, it's not really building boost up fast. I know it's building a boost. But you hear that when I get in it? Yeah. Man, I want to take a trip in this thing. <laughs> I might just take it on up to Minnesota to deliver these. comes from oh baby look at the boats honey <laughs> daddy getting a good Christmas present this year no he's waiting on me yeah that's a pretty good sized boat they're good they're nice I bet them string the old GMC we pulling the same one Pull that up that grade over a natural, it probably slows her down. <laughs> just don't tell you just how spoiled she is. She knows exactly who to go to when she comes down here. Scotty and Bryce. Come on, sugar booger. Come back for paperwork. All right, guys, we made it down here to load up the old Argosy. Scotty, put me three big boats on here. We're going to test this thing today. This ain't the biggest boat this thing ever had on. No, we had three we big had monsters. Like a L, a U, and a, well, we caught, we had a. The well, first time we loved it, we brought it we back. We had about this size and a big one up there and a big one. Oh, up yeah, that's when I had to reinforce the bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need one that big. Hey, wait till you see what we're doing to the other one. The other one. Other Argosy. Oh, you turn it into a baby hall, ain't it? Yeah, it's getting three axles and three everything. Three axles. It's going to be a wicked truck. Yeah, that's what it's going to pull. Getting them stainless fenders for it. And Cat, C-15, we'll turn it up. I'm going to put the same injectors the Cam Rooster's got in it. If I'm going to drive it, it's getting twin stacks, a visor, a Cam injectors, and turbo. Huh? It's governing, what, 65? You know, well, these things here run wide open. Sammy had them where they'd run. Hell, they got 308 gears with 13 speed. This one don't anymore. I switched this one to 342s to 13. It runs about, this one runs about 70, 75, pretty fair, pretty easy. Good RPM, about 1600. Yeah, had a blast. Yeah, that was a quick deal. Get in, get out. Well, that's a, about any time you work on a motor, you're gonna get I was tired. I was ready to get in there and get done. Get it. Oh man, we was wore out. Oh man, second one's going on. So guys, the way we load this thing is we put the belly boat on first, and then the front boat, and then we'll put the big boat on the back, the biggest boat. She come over here. Ah, thanks. You gotta go see everybody. Look at her. We're messing with the propane, man. Holly! Come on! Come on, you're working over here. <laughs> you're a mess. You know what? You're just a mess. Come on. What is this? So, we got 30,000 pounds of boats, 40,000. Think so? Probably about five. Think so? I might run it by, weigh it over there at the clubs. Well. Just to see. I ain't never weighed it. 
All right, guys, so we're fighting this back boat. It is not wanting to come down to height. We've moved it three times. We're trying not to have too much overhang. You're allowed three foot. And right now we're right at it. That ball up there is our mark. And where we're going, I can handle a little over height, but where we're going, the door is literally 13, like 13, six, you're tight coming in there. I think if I dump the trailer while we're coming in, we'll probably be all right. Yeah, well, no, it's back up. Airbags are back up. Yeah, I mean, we're right there at it. Transporting wise, I'm good. It's just getting it in the door. Yeah. I could throw an over height permit on it. See you guys. Thank you. Sorry about the headache. <laughs> hey, that's why we roll though. You gotta be, you gotta be willing to do what yeah. others want. There ain't a boat loader out there compete with Scotty. How far, how far did we come up for if you made a turn for something you had to? Oh, yeah. we, you can come way up. You can come up. Can I bring this up about right oh, here? Yeah. Yeah. So that'll give you, what, another 10 inches? Yeah. Um, but then I'll take this one. Uh, leave it. It'll be about where it's at. We'll just, we'll just drop the back and then I'll get that, get everything lower. And then I can move that in. And that way you'll, the boat will actually be sitting like this. That way you don't have to worry about it hit. Right. Well, they shouldn't hit right there. Yeah, you bought them out before you get well, one of the new trailers will be here next week. We try to load it and see what it does. Thank you, brother. Man, this thing sounds good, don't it? Look at it. I guess it's almost touching these red lights. Look how close that is, guys. Dang. Thing once we get back, I want to show you guys the engine and kind of 
just go over with go over everything with you. Alright guys, so we're back here with the Stinger. We got the cab lifted up, which this thing has automatic uh, cab. So like it automatic, it's electric over hydraulic. So you just hit a button and it raises up. But I'm going to give you guys my opinion of this truck versus the Scania that I went over in Florida in my last video. So if you haven't seen the last video where we went over the Scania, we went to Florida, we rebuilt Bruce's motor in the giveaway truck the blue car cab over and in that video um i went over the scania and kind of gave everybody my opinion of it so if you want to see the difference in the two you have to go back to that video i wish i had the truck side by side but sadly the truck's in florida and i can't do that so this truck they're simple they're super super simple this thing's heavy duty built it ain't got a double frame like the scania does but it's got, it does ha ride really well. So this thing's got four airbags on it. It's got two back here. Well, it's got four airbags back here and then two up front. So it's like riding on a cloud. The difference in this truck versus the Scania is the Scania seems a lot quieter inside the cab. This one has more room, but you're dealing with having to get in the truck. Now, some of these Argosies, they have the steps on them where when you open the door, the steps come out the side and you just walk up in it. This one here does not have that. So getting in this truck is a lot harder than getting in the Scania and you're a lot further off the ground. But um, like I said, it's not double framed. This thing's just got just your regular old, you know, just regular single frame. Um, 13 speed, it's got a six NZ cat in it, which we plan on pulling this engine and transmission out this winter. We're gonna build it and go back with something pretty cool. Still gonna be a cat. We're gonna leave a cat in it, but we're gonna build it like we did rooster. And uh, wiring harnesses, all that stuff are really simple on these trucks. Everything's right here. Um, it is drum brakes versus the Scania's got disc brakes. You guys can see. Um, and this is a newer truck than the Scania. So that's what I like about those trucks is they're the technology on those trucks are way beyond where we're at. I mean, now we're, you know, using disc brakes and, you know, a lot of our air systems are a lot simpler and our ABS systems. But this is a 2001. It's got 342 rears, rear gears in it, 13 speed. Um, it is air ride. But the frames, other than being double framed, the frames are pretty similar on these the 97 Scania that I looked at. So this one has a Rayco suspension under it, which I'm excited to see how it does with uh, our other truck. We're gonna put tall 22.5s on it with a fifth wheel. And that still gets our wheelbase way down. So this is gonna be pulling our new heavy haul trailer that we're picking up this week. Not this truck, but one identical to it. We're actually gonna go pick it up, hopefully this evening or in the morning, but um, this particular truck here is a Stinger. It's been a Stinger all of its life. It used to have a fifth wheel back here, and now it has just your uh, regular old panel hook, which makes it ride a lot better. This truck has 200 gallon tanks on it, so you get 400 gallons total for the trip. Uh, besides just fixing this thing up more, we're, we, you know, we repainted the bed, we reinforced the bed because we were putting a lot bigger boats on it now than it used to get. So we went back here and completely reinforced it. That's when we did the panel hook. The trailer, the one thing about these trucks is they are, if it breaks down, you have no choice but to fix it because nothing else can go hooked to this trailer and you gotta also have something on the truck. That's the only downfall to having the Stingers is if it goes down, you're fixing it where it's at. You ain't got no choice. Uh, you gotta get it fixed. So having a spare, uh argosy is also nice because if this one goes down i can send that truck out to go pick you know pick the trailer up 
And at that point, all you gotta do is deal with what boats on the truck. And hopefully, and if it does go down, you don't have something loaded. But we haven't had a lot of problems out of these trucks. We make sure and keep the maintenance up on them and try to keep them in really good shape. So what we done back here, cause all your weight from these boats are sitting back here on the back of the, the bed. So we went in, reinforced it, put this beam under it to hold it up. Cause this thing right here is solid mounted to the frame. So besides that, that's really the only issues we had out of it. And the old fifth wheels, they were junk. They were cracking all the time. We always had some issues with them cracking or breaking. But guys, the truck's simple. It is super simple. Uh, I can't wait to break into our other one. This thing needs a turbo upgrade. That's one thing it does need. But right now we're checking for boost leaks. It's going over everything. I'd like to find that piece right there. It's starting to come apart and actually insulate it a little bit better. But besides that, that's the, that's a, these are simple trucks. It's hard to say which one I like better because this, this is something I'm used to versus the Scania's. I'd like to pull with them and just see just how well I like them. The new ones are 700 horsepower. If I could pull one with a 700 horsepower, golly bum. This thing's pretty cool, ain't it? Yeah, I enjoy it. They're really not that bad to work on. Once you lift the cab up, that's what's nice about it. You lift the cab up and it's easy. Now the Scania has a V8 engine. Some of them's got the six cylinder. I think they're straight sixes, but the two that Bruce has both have V8s. So, you know, there is a lot less motor here. All right, guys. So that pretty much sums it up going through the Argosy. I guess I'll go ahead and talk about all my favorite trucks from overseas. Um, you got, you know, Volvo's a really good truck. Like, I mean, I guess, out of all the trucks over there, your biggest manufacturer, I guess, would be Volvo. You got Scania, which they've got the biggest, baddest engines out of all of them. I've always been obsessed with watching videos from, like, that's the kind of YouTube that I watch. The kind of cab over videos I like to watch is, like, from Europe, from the UK, from Russia. Like, I just love the old cab overs and stuff that it got over there. Canada. Um, I've always been obsessed with the Scanias. If you go back to my earlier videos, I always talked about having one but I never thought I'd ever be able to get one into the States. And then when Bruce got his, I was just like mind blown. I'm like, holy crap, it's possible. It can be done, but I don't want an older one. I want more of a modern truck, something I can use, maybe even stick a motor, like um, get it one that, you know, just cabin chassis, drive line, stuff like that. And we can stick one of our engines in it, a Detroit or a Cat or something. Can you imagine a Scania or a man rolling around with a Detroit or a Cat? I think it'd be so cool. But either way, we're gonna take the old forgotten uh, Argosy. You know, it just, I don't know. I guess it never really hit big over here like it, it did over there. So I guess the cab overs kind of phased out over here when uh, the Argosy come out. You know, I, 2004, 2006, I think that's the last ones you'll ever find in the United States. I've looked and I've looked and I've looked because I want a newer one. So we're gonna take ours and we're gonna see just how cool we can make it. How cool can we even come close to the Scania or even come close to the Mans or the Volvos? And we're gonna try, you know, make a custom light bar, things like that. We're gonna get into it. I don't wanna tell you at all we've got planned. We're gonna try some new stuff with it and to see how cool we can make this heavy all Argosy. And then maybe later on, we import a truck. Bruce is on his way to Finland. Maybe he figures out a way we can bring a newer one here and then which would be awesome. It would be so cool. But I'm gonna drink some coffee, get woke back up. Guys, ever since our Florida trip, we've been trying to get caught back up and I am just, I'm dragging and I'm sorry. But I'm putting a new tune in Rooster and we're going back down to get another load. If you guys wanna come with, let's go. All right guys, we made it back down here and Holly has found her some wood. What'd you find, honey? Find you some wood. What's on it? Let me see it. Let me see. Come here. Don't run from me. <laughs> Let me see your wood. Come here. Let me just get this string off of it. There you go. All right. So we're back down here for another load. 
This is going a lot easier than the other one. Hey, you fold good, didn't you loosen the strap up? Huh? That old stinker runs good. Does Heck yeah, it does. Probably need to be running from the mountain. I know it. I blew her out. So what I'm working on today, and it has been this phone call after phone call, and at this point I'm getting confused <laughs> and, um, with everything going on today. I've got to get the trailer across the border from Canada. So, but they're, like, working with Waltron's been amazing. It really has. They have been phenomenal to deal with uh, as far as getting everything took care of, the getting the paperwork, getting the title for it, getting all that stuff to me. And then uh, they've got a guy that can bring it across the border next Wednesday, but I'm really wanting to get it before then. I mean, I can deal with not having it till then, but I really want to go get it. So I called a guy that helped Bruce get across and hopefully with using him, I can go get it myself. If not, I'm gonna have to pay somebody to bring it over. Cause I don't have the, um, I can take stuff into Canada, but I've never brought anything back out. So we're trying to get it all set up to get it done. And it is a nightmare to get things across the border. So hopefully we get it figured out and we're leaving tomorrow to go get a trailer. If not, we're gonna have to wait till next week and then meet them in Michigan um, at the Port Huron. So it's a 10 wide trailer, so you can't bring a 10 wide through Michigan or through Detroit. If we get all that figured out today, then I'm gonna go pick the trailer up. We're gonna take Rooster and go get it. So that's why I brought Rooster down here. I just fixed the starter again, the solenoid, and I also retuned it finally. And it is running way better. I mean, it's actually a lot smoother. It's still smoky. I'm still trying to get the smoke out of it. But um, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. To, to turn that big turbo and and all that. I think the only way we're going to clear the smoke up is put compounds on it or downsize the injectors. All right, guys, here we go. Gotta see how this thing's going to run now. This is the first time I put a load on it since we turned it. It just goes, don't it? This gets her done. I'm going to slow down for this hill. I want to hit it at a low speed. See if it'll gain speed in one of it. So I'm trying to clear the smoke up. That's my biggest thing. And still be able to spool good. So here we go. Still a little smoky. It's a good size hill right here. Boost gauge, about 40 pounds, 45 pounds. It's exactly where I want it. It'll keep the head on it. And it still climbs like crazy. making so much it was out of control. like it's just going to be easier just to wait um, I could go over there and chance it the problem is getting a permit to get it across the border because it is uh, in Canada it's oversized so it's, it's a 10 foot wide trailer and you know here I have per like blanket permits everywhere so I can pull it you know in the United States pretty much anywhere I want but in uh, Canada I do not and getting the permit and 
picking it up this week was going to be just about near impossible. So um, we're going to get a permit. They're going to meet me next Wednesday with a trailer in Michigan. Or yeah, in Michigan. They're going to go ahead and bring it across. So I ain't got to deal with having uh, the PAPS number and all that, going through all, you know all the bull crap. So they're going to bring the trailer to us. We'll go to Wildtron and do a video with them on the next trailer. Because I'll, you know, now that I've done one, or we're doing one, I'll have my authority set up to handle it next time. All right, guys, this is lugging it down. Here we go. So it's still put out the cloud if you want it to, but I can actually get into it and not black smoke now. Used to, I couldn't do this. It was just smoking. And I've not noticed a significant power difference either. I mean, it's still boost off boost you want it to boost. But on top end, it's not boosting near as much. And that's my that was my biggest issue. Is I wouldn't let anybody drive it because you, it just keep building. It'll build up 60, 70 pounds of boost like it was nothing. And I just can't see a head hanging on that much boost going into it, especially if you're using a long pull for a long period of time. Just got back off the phone with the trailer people. So I might be able to go get it now. Uh, they think I can just come up there and get it. Uh, without having to deal with all the border stuff. Like, I'm in and out of there all the time. Usually we take new boats up and then come back across, you know, with our empty trailers. I don't think it would be any different than, you know, even though I'm coming across with a new trailer, uh, it'd be no different than me coming back across empty. And they never ask about the trailer, so. I wonder if they'd ask about registration, though. That's what I would be. I don't remember if they asked for that there the, on the border or not. But either way, if that's the case, Steve's going up there uh, to deliver some boats, and I'm going to have him pick it up. But that's what we're dealing with right now. Still, I don't know. We're going to try to figure it out. <laughs> I'll let you guys know what we figure out. I know it's been up and down all day. All right, there she goes. Off to make some money, baby. Wet thing lights up good at night. Always look at that. That's how you know you made it. Your artist is pulling out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, it does feel good though. It's a good feeling. Now, let's see, let's see how far we can take it. We've got to this far. And that thing sounds good. So that's what I like to do. That's for customer service. When they come on the yard, they head right out and uh, get delivered pretty quickly so um, it would be nice to be a week or two behind but right now it is what it is we can take care of our customers they get their boats fast and uh, drivers are getting to work good before christmas and we got some toes to do so we got to send this thing this week i got to finish buffing it out you guys can see we went sanded it and then um as soon as it's uh it goes this week to get stickers put on. And you sound good, don't it? You want this truck now? Well, fire that sucker up. Get her fire that thing up. Yeah, Brax, you might fight you over that one. What well, thing sounds good on it, HUD? What do you think? That thing sound pretty good? Yeah. What do you think about this in here? This is mine. Is it yours? Yeah. Well, you're probably right. It probably is gonna be yours. There's a in there. Huh? There's a in there. Can we fire it up? Yeah. Yeah. I'll fire it up for you. Okay. Open it. Open it? Yeah. Open that door. Open it. Now I'll fire this thing up. Right here, you turn this on. Now hit that button. I don't want you to do it. Now go ahead, I'll watch you. Okay. Yep, push it. Oh, baby. Well, that sucker sounds good, don't it? Yeah. 
right, guys. So we're going to get this thing unhooked. We had to go do a tow yesterday, which I'll post that video next. But uh, we're going to get this thing pulled back to the shop, finish buffing it out. Got a few little things to do left to it. Get the stickers put on it. But it's tagged. It's insured. It's ready to go to work. And uh, we've already tested it out. So it did a good job on its first tow. And I'll share it. I'll, I'll get that video out to you as fast as possible. You guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being such awesome awesome supporters of the channel and uh being such an awesome trucking community but don't forget like subscribe leave us a comment and i'll see you on the next video i love y'all